Okay. MIT graduate Sam Asano spends about an hour a day inventing things. This is a dummy called a Lucy. He's testing an emergency transmitter for senior citizens. Oh. I, I can't use the word he invented because it hasn't quite worked yet. Innovating is what this Japanese native has been doing since graduating from MIT in 1961. Soon after leaving school is when he developed one of the most iconic and familiar devices still in use today, the portable fax machine. I needed it very badly. It was my life that was hanging in there. He developed his fax machine while working as a NASA engineer involved in rocket test launches. His Japanese citizenship prevented him from getting security clearance to be at the actual rocket launch site. I had to direct the launching from a motel room by phone. The, the problem is people who man the launch site are all southerners. My English wasn't exactly like I could understand the southerners accent. I was very frustrated. Um, I was all alone and these people are yelling at me. I just came to the idea that this is crazy to have to talk to. What we need is a handwritten picture through the telephone so that they can see what I am directing. Facsimile technology had existed in one form or other for decades. High speed facsimile transmission and reception of both words and pictures. But the machines were huge and impractical. Fax machine was vehemoth, weighed half a ton and cost thousands of dollars. In fact, for almost everyone, it was far more efficient to mail a letter. So Asano got to work and built a prototype. I didn't use any sophisticated technology. I had a bench just like this, and you know, the, the prototype looks like that. You know, it's about wires dangling out. And... The portable and affordable fax machine was born. But it didn't catch on immediately. I was rejected by 23 venture capitalists as this is crazy, totally unnecessary device. Eventually, a Japanese company took notice. They quickly licensed Asano's technology. So the Japan became almost the only source of fax machine now. Every office fax machine you've ever used is a descendant of his technology. But Asano doesn't dwell on the influence he's had on our modern office culture. I never thought that was a big deal. He hasn't kept any images or prototypes from those early days. Well, you know, I'm sort of a field of technology, and yesterday is not that important, you know? If you sort of nostalgi nostalgically dwell on yesterday, you get killed by tomorrow, so... 